Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 29 of Harvest Block. And, well, between episodes I have got a few things taken care of. Got a Superium, Intermedium, and Supremium Singularities done. We're going to start loading this thing up here. Grab that. And I don't need the quest for the uh, the uh, Insanium, but I do need it to make an ultimate. There's three, there's more. So I need, oh, let's see. Look at Lima here. And that, that. And I need, what, three more total singularities? Let's see. And do I have a diamond in here? I have a mana diamond. I don't think I have a regular diamond, actually. I think I crafted the uh, condensers up with it. Well, that's a little bit of a shame, then, isn't it? And then the other thing I need is Gaia. Which I can make like another 500 ingots worth. Those do like 512. I'm 25 Gaia Spirit short of that. Dang it. But, and Insanium. Now, oh no, I have my diamond in here. Okay, then. What am I missing here? Uh, Gaia, obviously. And let's see. Fun part, I've got 81 singularities singularities to uh to run through here and try to figure out which one's missing out of this yeah guy is one oh here we go prudentium i never actually made the prudentium one oh my bad uh how much prudentium do i have 400 And let's see, this will get us a decent amount. So here, let's just switch up. Switch up Essence. Now I need, uh, let's see, Prudentium, here we go. I need, was it, four per ingot? So I need 8,192. I have 4,000. So, or I'm sorry, 2400. And I really should actually teach my system how to downcraft essence so it has enough. Uh, 6400 ish. And we're out of intermediate now. Oh, gee, whatever shall I do? I mean, it's such a hardship not having any, you know, essence. All right, and and the fact that it downgrades one to four, that's actually kind of nice, so. All right. 8,800, all right, I think we can do that now. So let's go ahead and get this craft kicked off. And I do have, I'm actually low on iron now. Oh, jeez. Wow, that's uh, not something I was thinking I would be low on soon, because I actually had a lot of it. Uh, but I went ahead and upgraded it, or not upgraded, but I uh, swapped out a bunch of these guys. I've got a lot more dark matter production going through. Um, I think I added five more total. And then like this entire row here is prosperity, and then most of this row is prosperity. Actually, I think this entire row is prosperity as well. Nope, I have one, one grains of infinity seed still going because I was like one short on prudent or uh seeds, <laughs> prosperity seeds, those things. So you are crafting up, awesome. 
and everybody here is done. So then it just becomes a an issue of I need Gaia. Gaia spirits. This is the hold up right here. Put that away. Now there's no chance in hell I can buy like Gaia spirits, is there? Yeah, I really didn't think so. But, you know, these rewards were kind of a thing to aim for early on, but now it's just like, eh, I don't know. Like, I don't need mana. Uh, soils are about the only thing that's actually useful in here. And I don't really need that many soils with how I have, how I have everything going. And then the, the potion rings. Uh, yeah, really don't need any of those either. I mean, hell, I got my swiftness ring. It's in the box, so... Hmm. And yeah, you're currently empty. Okay. Just double checking all the machines, making sure everything's working like it's supposed to. Tons of pink slime, got tons of iron. And another thing I did though was while I was waiting for prosperity to form up, uh, I made pretty much every industrial programming machine. I just started I didn't even bother paying attention to this. I just started going through JEI and just crafting them all. Uh, like a lot of fabricator. It's all stuff I really didn't see a point in making until now, but I had time to kill, so went ahead and finished off this quest. And yeah, there's the breaker, laser, laser drill, laser base. I might actually set that system up though. Uh, the lasers. Actually, I'm right here. Might as well. That. And the reason for that is that I can actually focus them. Uh, let's see, lens, it was light blue, was it? it? Is a light blue stained glass and four slime balls, pink slime balls. Aquamarine, diamond, and then the uh, three different prosperity ores. So that might not be a bad thing, honestly. Got my sag mill out. Um, dark steel balls. Okay. Uh, let's get a chest. Uh, let's go ahead and get an ender chest too, I guess. One of one of these. There they are. All right, and triple white should be fine. Pink, yeah, it should be. Some conduits. Um, yeah, item conduits, and then I'll grab some of these enter energy ones. And a dimensional transceiver, if you would, please. Thank you. Right. Now, I need to have this thing basically looking at the void. Or, well, not looking, but aimed at the void. So can I just get, like, do I have any lights left? I have one. Uh, tell you what, let's just grab this. I still haven't finished tearing out the farms. I mean, it looks halfway decent, you know, kind of doing the, uh, uh, doing the thing with the, uh, yeah, the thing with the thing. Yes, I'm, I'm good at English. Uh, basically just holding the reactor in place, so. And we'll throw some windows in this thing. I like that though. Thank you. And now it's all nice and bright in here. So you are my center point. Very good. Ah, guess what I forgot to grab? The laser drill. <laughs> the actual thing I was trying to set up. Uh the elevators over here. Okay. So laser base, I actually made a couple of them by accident, and then laser drills. So what I can do now is laser base can go there. I'll tell you what here. I clear this stuff out a little bit. You face away from me, don't you? You do. Okay. 
Oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah, no laser face, no joke. You're facing the wrong direction. Oh, cool. What? Why would you face that way, though? The hell? Okay, yeah, no, I have no idea what's going on. And I need a wrench. Uh, so yes, engineer's hammer. Um, I think about my wrench in the system here. Also, oh, you're done. All right, cool. Well, that's problem for the future. All right. Well, not really a problem per se, but that's something I need to take care of in the future. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that around just in case. Right. You go there. There you go. There, there, and then here. Not ideal, but it works. And we're going to put... Uh, this thing doesn't auto-output, does it? Okay. Let's do like that for now, I think. And then I'm also going to need... One of those. You are going to be set to power. You're going to receive it. I did not bring enough conduits. Oh well. I will uh, finish getting the rest of this kind of sort of set up here. You, my friend, can go right here. This is going to go here, full of these. And you are going to pull from there. So, cool, you're full now. You're getting power. And then you will be extract always active. And you are just going to be simply insert. And it's slowly filling up, but it's only got two lasers right now, so it's uh, yeah, running at half speed. But let's see. A couple of things I need to take care of anyway. One, I need more power conduits. Uh, that might be enough, but just in case, let's just do that. All right. And then I need the lens. All right, so light blue. Requires light blue stained glass. Of course. There we go. Make a few of those because, eh, why not? And then you can do a thing, and then we'll do that thing. We'll do like that. Have like half stack of slime balls out. Clicking on the wrong things here. Um, I think it could take up to six lasers. If I'm, I might be confusing it with the old uh, mine factory reloaded uh, laser drill. But yep, no, we got six. Okay. All right, now you're basically just gonna be grabbing a whole ton of stuff now. Copper. Hmm. Yay. You, my friend, are going to go here. Uh, no. Yeah, no. How about we go... Make, oh, another chest. Another one of these. 
And what do I have for dye? Uh, a lot of pink. How about we do magenta? I like magenta. Nice calming color. If I put it straight into the triple white, it's just going to dump whatever byproducts this thing does produce and throw them into the barrels, and uh, it's not a good time. Hey, aquamarine. Oh, uh, we are going to... And diamonds. You're going to push that stuff to there. You're going to grab grinding balls as you need them. Here, you can have that as well. And, and you're filling up reasonably fast right now. But now, seeing as I'm really not going to need to touch the system again, go ahead and get this powered up. And oh, I can still get in. Sweet. Okay. Now, I could get some speed upgrades, thinking about this. Uh, I need like four of each, I think. The, uh, the Tesla upgrades. Oh, got more copper. So. Tesla, no. But at Tesla. Hey, look at that. So I need like eight of these. Uh, yeah, I've got a bunch of papers, so, or a bunch of sugar cane. Now I want to make... I want the energy upgrades, too. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, yeah, you're going to be pains, aren't you? Um, yeah, we'll just... So, I'm out of sticks. I'm used to like running out of sticks. That's, but I need two per, so I need like sixteen gold gears. All right, so I need that. That is ten because I ran out of gold. What? What? Uh, let's see. At, I guess I did like disconnect my uh. My gold stuff, so my gold plant. We've kind of hit that awkward in between in between stage right now, where I'm producing EMC and other things, but I don't have enough. You know, I, I I've converted most of my system over to producing EMC. Let's put it that way. Uh, you're busy. You got like. Enough any for two gold. Here, let's uh get okay, never active. There you go. And uh tell you what. Knock yourself out. Uh yeah, let's go get some more gold. Gold's got a relatively decent amount of EMC, so I don't mind having a, a, a good sized stockpile of that. Alright. And then you guys can go into speed upgrade ones. Now I need to convert half you guys to speed upgrade twos. And this is where I may actually start needing the reactor. Pretty sure everything else so far would be actually running halfway decently on just the solar panels. One, two. One, two. And one. Uh, yeah, that's actually filling up quite a bit quicker. Hmm. Okay, increase or decrease the drill depth. Hey, Prosperity Ore. Okay. Um, minimum Y, max Y. Okay. So, yeah, not a problem then. I don't think I have to worry about that too much. Okay. Prosperity is from the full range of Y values, so... Now, hey, I've already gotten 12 Prosperity Shards out of this. You are doing your thing, so... Hmm. I do have... 
this wonderful, amazing furnace down here that I've not been using, really. The Zenith furnace. So how about... Do I want to tear this out? Uh, what do I need Ender Stars for? Uh, these things, right? That's the... Yeah, that's the first here. Okay. Ultimate crafting for Philosopher's Stone. Okay, done. And enter crafting into these, which I've got... Okay, yeah, I can just tear like this whole section here out. Don't need the ender crafter anymore. I have a thank God moment there too, because they're uh, they're not bad, right? I should say that they're they're not bad. Now, question at this point is, do I just want to run power to this? Because right now I've got it with the. Uh, liquid fuel upgrade, so I can just use lava, which is not horrible, mind you. And I can actually craft these without too many issues. Okay, yeah. Two. Four buckets in there. Okay, we're good. I'll see you here. And... Import, yes. M port. Oh, I have one. Sweet. Uh, cable, please. Like so. Do I have any interfaces left? That would actually kind of make this a little bit easier. Uh, no. Can I make one? Probably pretty easily. Oh, uh, yeah, I can. Okay. And you can go there. Now, filter. That actually should be fine, because I think I only need to filter out prosperity shards. Which we've got a decent amount of, so. So, let's see. You're going to be... Extract, always active. Up is going to be insert. We are going to basically just whitelist prosperity because that's going to go straight into the system. Everything else is going to pretty much get smelted first, right? Well, um, I'm sort of grabbing stuff out of here before I put the filter in. Dang it. Uh, nether quartz probably shouldn't be smelted. Like, yeah. Well, honestly, I don't know if it can be smelted. So, do that. Well, the other things I get is aquamarine. I'll mention one again. Dang it. All right, aquamarine and and diamond. Right, and just for kicks, just to make sure everything works right. I'm gonna set to higher priority, so it tries putting it into here first. Those guys should just go away. There we go. And then everything else, we'll just uh, toss into here. And are you going to be all sorts of like funky with your sadness? Because that. Be annoying. Uh, it looks like the answer to that is yes. You, you are doing the whole vanilla sidedness only thing, and there's no like way to spoof, like which side it goes into with the conduits. Is there? Hmm. Because these items have to go into the top if I want them to be smelted, and then I have to extract out the bottom. Only works with a service wrench, I guess, or something. I don't know. And can I, uh, can I have uh, that recipe, please? Thank you.
Oh, that's right. Oh, look at this. My base is actually getting uglier by the moment. All right. Now you can insert, right? Or let's go ahead and put our upgrades in. And yeah, lovely. Always fun when things work out exactly how you want it to. So we're going to put our import bus there. And then I am going to cable that up, grab that scaffold. And you're just gonna run like so. Yeah, it's nice and slow right now, but oh well, not all that concerned about it, especially since I can just uh, just grab a bunch of acceleration cards now. And here, have four of those. I believe that'll extract a full, uh, st uh, full stack per operation, so. Hmm. All right, I just had a thought on how I can change this up a little bit. Okay, up and remove this. You are going to be priority zero down it is going to be priority like three, right? So the furnace doesn't let things that can't smelt inside. Of it. So if it can't be smelted, it'll just get kicked straight into the interface. Because I wasn't sure if the furnace was smart enough or not to, not to uh, screw things up. AKA make sure it's not a quantum compressor. And it actually checks recipes versus what can, and, you know, can go in and what can't go in, or can't smelt, can't smelt. Can smelt or can't smelt, wow. All right. So that is all good to go. I will occasionally have to fill this up with lava. It's gonna take quite a while though. But I should be getting a little bit extra of uh, Wow, am I? No, it's just that's so how much power I'm currently kind of using. Okay. I say it's not really draining the buffer on the reactor. It might at nighttime, but I've got enough <laughs> everything safe up that it's, yeah, not going to be a problem. And yeah, you're ore doubling everything as it comes through. And let's see. Boom, diamond ore. Okay. So I wouldn't use that for anything else, but since the quest book had me make it, I was like, yeah, I'll just go ahead and use it then. Oh, but my prudentium should be done. So let's get that going. And here, let's uh, put that in there. And we'll just do this. And yeah, why not? We'll just toss it all into here. All right. So Prudent teams to go. And yeah, it didn't really make a whole lot of gold. So but there we go. So we now have one, two, three, four, five, six chapters done. Not terrible, really. Uh, let's see. Lima, Gaia, and a Prudentium. And I'm doing the Prudentium right now, so. How is my Gaia doing? Can I make like the 512 yet? Sure can. So that'll get me three quarters of the way to the Gaia. And there's our Prudentium. So I just need a Gaia and I can have my first uh, ultimate singularity, which is uh, 
Not terrible. And that'll actually finish this chapter off, too. Being the last singularity. And then the ultimate singularity here opens up all of this. The creative stuff. Ultimate ingot, creative essence, and then all the different creative items, which eh, I think there's a few of them missing. Over here, I've got solar panels to make still. And then compact machines, which... Yeah, sure. Fluid storage, and then the crafting storages. I just, yeah. And I sort of skipped a bunch of steps there. Oh, I need a compacting drawer still. Really? I need one of those? Oh. All right, let's go ahead and try to get that done then. Uh, let's see, compacting drawer. I actually need a drawer. Okay. One of those eventually. Try that again. There we go. Then like that. My last chest as well. Oh no. However, will I make it with no chests in my system? All right, cool. So compact new drawers done. And I'll get those knocked out eventually. It's not going to be terrible because I can actually make all the processors I need. This needs logic processors. A, I've got actually quite a bit of them saved up. And B, they have EMC. It's just trying to convince myself that I need to do something that I'm not going to use is, yeah, a thing. So, all right. So, grindstone. Okay. Now I have to make that crafting table. Okay. Ritual pedestal and then ritual anchor. Again, that's just one of those, I'm like, I'm not going to use those, so I really don't feel a whole, whole lot of drive in getting those done. And since I'm not really using rituals at all, then, well, there's no not really, I'm just not using rituals, so really not a whole lot of need for that. What I would love, though, right now is just a damn good tick accelerator, and we're already... It, the thing is, is Gaia is actually coming in relatively quickly. Just I need four per ingot, which is a pain. Especially given the fact that, well, the Terra Steel has EMC, which is okay. But, you know, the Gaia Spirits themselves or the Gaia ingots don't. Right? I mean, they're literally the only way to craft it, and it's a nine equals one recipe. So it's like... Not particularly great, but I need 2,000 more Gaia Spirits, roughly. Which, at the way we're going, is not going to take that long. I've actually got a lot of Gaia Essence flowing through the system right now. So, yeah, I've actually got a lot of Gaia plants going. And Prosperity should be good for now, I think. But, so, I'm going to go ahead and cut here, and I'm going to teach my system how to uh, downgrade essences, because, well, seems like that one might be a good idea. Well, I got some recipes uh, crafted up and whatnot, left the thing running while I went and got some food. And I should be able to craft, oh yeah, I got a couple thousand of them now, so. I uh, need 512 more Gaia ingots. And honestly, it really shouldn't take all that long. So, I've got acceleration cards in every interface of mine. I've split up recipes as much as I can, so if it's a multi-stage crafting, it's not going to conflict with, you know, having two recipes, you know, that can be crafted at the same time in the same interface. It's just, it's just bad juju. And the other problem I'm running into is AE is still flipping slow when it comes to, uh, to auto-crafting. So... Really, I had 24 extra? Okay, I miscounted them there somewhere. Oh, that's because whenever I crafted the first, quote, half, I didn't craft 1024, I crafted 1028. So that was, yeah, all extra stuff. All right, but we're working on our last singularity now.
I'm guessing at this point we can roughly tell how much it takes, or how long it takes. So Gaia Cruxes, yeah. So Creative Crux. I'm thinking, because I was, remember looking at this, it's like, hey, ultimate ingot first, and I'm like, mm, I don't think so. I'm thinking I'm going to concentrate on creative essence first. Although it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference. This does need more singularities. Which, uh, red matter is not a problem. Dark matter is honestly really not a problem either. How much am I sitting on dark matter in here? Um, I got enough for a singularity in here, so I guess I could do hey Gaia. And the ultimate singularity. This is all my extras. But here we go. Got ourselves some glowing out of that. Go to here to, to Lima. Go ahead and claim that one. And I don't have to worry about this anymore. Now, the transmutation table requires four of these. Honestly, I'm not really all that concerned about the transmutation table right now. Uh, ultimate ingots, they... Uh, I could probably pull this off right now, actually. And, well, okay, like, what do I need an ultimate ingot for? Point. Ultimate cruxes. Okay, well, that's that's nice. And then creative items. Yeah, that's pretty much it, creative items. These all require creative essence as well. So, but honestly, I don't think I'm going to need that much creative essence. I mean, what all is this going to? Okay, the crux, master infusion crystal, which is a kind of a hip, hip, hooray, whatever kind of thing at this point. And let's see, a yeah, transmutation tablet versus the table. And then that's the same. So it's like, I want to bother with that. I think the answer is probably not, but oh well. Now the red matter singularities are going to be a little bit on the fun side. Um, put the glowing one for now. One more floor. There we go. And we're just going to put this guy and go in there for now. All right. So, get myself. Like, what do I want to. Because I'm going to start working on singularities. So, um, tell you what, Diamond. You, you can be a diamond. Come on, stay. Thank you. <laughs> Poof, done. And yeah, it's already filled the first one up, so. But I'm going to have a, a larger system taking care of all of this for future here. Let's see. Tell you what, uh, get me... That, and then things like Living Rock, which Living Rock has an EMC value of one. Also, I can put the diamond away now. Well, each gold ingot has enough EMC in it to basically make one Living Rock singularity. So, uh, plus extras, it looks like. I didn't drain everything out. Oh, well. Not all that concerned about it. Uh, you can go ahead and turn on. You can start spitting out Living Rock singularities for me. And then go ahead and decompress this stuff. And we're going to start working on a uh, red matter singularity, I think. Come on, get in there. That was That's halfway there. Okay. So not terrible. And like 12 more stacks in there. I need... Uh, roughly another stack of uh, red matter blocks now. Uh, yeah, I only got 28 stacks. I mean, that, that system's working great. So, 
Red matter seeds are so ridiculously broken, it's not even funny. Hey, it's filling up again. We've already made two diamond singularities. If I make extras, I don't really care. Honestly. I mean, I guess I could, like, make more energy condensers. I mean, it's, yeah. But we got extras of these. It's like, yeah, who really, who really cares? And... Yeah, I think Translocator would be a better option than energy for the item conduits, but oh well. And I've got like 11,000 ink slime ingots. So yeah, that's the thing. Almost six uh, singularities worth right there. Plus I think I had, yeah, an extra one here. Yeah, this is going to be a thing for a while is uh, just making singularities, I think. And a big portion of it, though, is going to be waiting for Gaia and Prosperity. I need four Prosperities. I need 8,000-ish, 8192 uh, Prosperity per Mystical Agriculture Singularity. And there's six of them per, uh, per Ultimate Singularity. So, yeah, we need a ton of them. I think I figured it out to right around a quarter of a million. So, yeah. I mean, that's, that's definitely a thing. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and look up our creative essence again here. So just, I need four ultimate singularities. Crystal teen and Insanium, and that's it. So that's not, everything but this is not bad at all. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm going to start working on first. Just, you know, mainly because. Uh, let's see, Living Wood is 32 of them, so not terrible. Hey, Living Rock. Oh, look, I already had an extra one of those. But I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying the series, and until next time, I'm signing out. Have fun.